Okay. In this video, I am going to explain to you certain elementary shapes. The first one is a line segment. Now, how often do we see lines? You know, let us take case of a table. There are various lines in this table. If I were to point out, there is this line, there is this line, there is this line, this line, this, 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 and this. So there are various lines in a table. Okay? Let's say a pencil that you have, that you use in the school. It has this line, this line. A rectangle. It has one, two, three, four. Four lines. Right? Similarly, anything and everything that you use, even a car that you have, let's say for example like this. There's this line, you can take up this line, this line, this, and so many of them. So a line, as we see it, I mean it's not a straight line, could have various lengths. So the length of this line is different, and the length of this line is different. Okay? Now, when we say a line segment, this basically refers to a portion of such line. So let us say, in this particular line segment, I have A, I have a point B here, and then I have C. So when I say line segment AB, line segment AB, what I mean is, the portion of line, portion of this particular line, which is covered between the two points A and B. So the distance, the distance, the portion, or the length between these two points is called the line segment. Now, what is the idea? I mean, why do you want to find out various line segments? The idea behind finding out line segments is to compare as to what is the relative length. Compare. Relative length. So let's say, if someone were to ask you in this case, and let's say this is line EF. If someone were to ask you, which line segment is more, AB or EF? Now, one of the ways, the simpler ways is, you just compare by naked eye as to what is the relative length of these two. Now, if you were to look at these two, definitely EF is this big, AB is this big, so EF seems to be more than AB. But if you ask whether EF is bigger than AC, again, although we can say in this case that AC is greater than EF, this becomes difficult, this comparison becomes difficult at times, particularly when things are not in the straight direction. So suppose, I have these two lines, this is A, B, and C, and D. And I was asked which one is bigger, it becomes a bit of a problem because, you know, this is going into a different direction, this is going into a different direction. So for this purpose, what we do is that we measure the length of a particular line segment by the use of a ruler or scale, as you may call it. So what I will do is, let me take a different color here. I will take a scale, 
okay and i will mark as to what are the points or what is the distance of this line so suppose the distance is this much then i will take up the scale and i will take it here and put the scale here so i already know that there is a point on this scale which is marked here now suppose if i take it here and this point comes here then i know that the length of ef is smaller than the length of ac so that's how you basically use a scale or a ruler to clear off this situation let me just clear off some space what is another way of doing this even the easier way the other easier way of doing this is that you can take a divider so i take a divider i put one end of the divider here let's say this is the divider and the second end of the divider here okay and measure the length of ef now without changing the distance between these two point i just pick it up and i put it on top of ac so what i do is let me again just kind of remove this black line from here okay now as i put this at e point here and my f comes here so i know that a e f is particularly equal to this line which is smaller than ac so that's how basically i use these things to understand as to which of the two lines are greater